Hello, I'm Marley and I'm going to tell you a bit about football and why you should play. This was my independent homework project. Football is one of the oldest sports known to hu humankind with records found dating over 2,000 years in China. Secondly, out of football, cricket, hockey, table tennis, volleyball and basketball, football is at the top of the list. Thirdly, FIFA is the top sport game in the UK. You might want to have a try to play a bit of football. If you haven't already, maybe one day you'll be a champion. Advice, just like try your hardest because it is kind of a hard sport when you first try so, like the hardest thing would probably be like tackling at first or like yeah tackling yeah. like the first step second step maybe like three kicks or penalties they're quite yeah. hard yeah because you because like the teams all counter on you because if you like if you go too high you'll, you'll miss it if you go too low you'll miss it because they will no I mean, like, um, like, once, like, when I was taking a pen, once, like, um, it was, like, life or death. Because it was, like, two, two, and if this, that was, like, the third pen, and then I saw, and it was then just, just on, here's the crossbar, right there, right there. It, it was, like, it was, like, I take another shot. Even, like, under pressure in a game, you might want to try and, like, cheer yourself up, take some deep deep breaths and sit on the side for a few minutes and then come back in and play. If you think you're not very good at sports, you can just ask a teacher or a friend that's good at sports and they can teach you a bit more and then maybe you can play some football. Like, if I, if I were captain, I'd be like, cheer up, there's only the first half or, or something. Like, um, and then they know, but they know it's the second half. Like, and then they're like, you know what? I, I think I can do this. So you, can, you have to kind of like believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Uh, and you won't, and you will achieve things. Thank you for listening to my project. Try and play some more football and try and get involved with, involved with some matches. My name is Mason, and my independent homework is about Greek mythology. Firstly, Greek mythology is a collection of stories concerning the traditions of the ancient Greeks told through the lives and adventures of characters such as the gods like Zeus and Poseidon, heroes like Odysseus, Heracles and Theseus, and mythical creatures such as the Minotaur, Cyclops and Medusa. This is the picture of Zeus, the picture of Odysseus and the picture of Medusa. These stories were told through plays, songs, poems and art such as pottery and raised vase painting. This ensured that myths were able to be retold for hundreds of years, even to this day. Here are some examples of potter, Greek pottery that we photographed at the British Museum. This is some, these are some vases. This one is Odysseus using a stake to defeat the Cyclops. Theseus defeating and Theseus defeating the Minotaur. It's difficult to know when Greek mythology started, but it is believed that the first story was written in 700 BC by Hesiod, Hesiod Theogony. The most famous piece of artwork, a poem, was by Homer in 750 BC. The Odyssey was an epic poem in 24 books telling the stories of Odysseus such as the Sirens and the Cyclops. The poems and stories of Greek mythology were created to teach people lessons of life, such as how to triumph and avoid disaster. The ancient Greeks used these stories and lessons to make sense of the world and give them something to believe in, despite the fact that the gods they prayed and built temples for were actually works or fiction. Today, Greek mythology still influences our cultures culture in many ways. This can be seen in our stories such as Percy Jackson and movies such as Classes of the Titans and Hercules. Fun fact, DC
did you know many companies and products get their names from Greek mythology? Nate, Nate, Nike are made after the goddess of victory. My favorite would have to be Zeus. Well, yeah, it would have to be. He's like god of basically everything. It's like nothing can really like defeat him. I like the fact that he's like makes tricks on people and does and just 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 does crazy things to them. Yeah, the same as Mason really. He does crazy things and it's really funny. Well, I like to think it'll be like to teach them stuff instead of just like actually like um instead of like telling them they can tell them within stories like a fun way. So it's not just it's not just learning. Like there was Odysseus was the king of basically everything and Zeus was the king of craziness and whatever. Um, and they're, they're telling it in stories, like. They kind of remind you like about like comics or like, yeah, basically comics. Cause comics can sometimes be like rough and stuff like this. And also like um, movies as well. Cause like movies also remind me of it. So like if you, yeah. if you watch um, Clash of the Titans and mm. And, and Hercules and Wrath of the Titans is, is exactly like this. It's based on stories by Greek mythology. Just, if, you like, if you like adventure, just read Greek mythology and make your own books. And then you can someday be like human mythology of this day. It reminds you of when you made it. Uh, unless you're dead, then... People of the future will find it, and then you will be magnificent. My name is Kit Wright, and I'm going to tell you about my favourite football club, Arsenal. The amazing Arsenal FC. Introduction. Arsenal are a football team that play in North London. They play in red and white shirts with white shorts. Arsenal FC was founded in 1886. Arsenal now play in the Premier League. Arsenal's rivals are Spurs. The Arsenal captain is Alexandre Lacazette. Their mascot is a dinosaur called Gunnosaurus. Did you know Henri has made more appearances than, than Cesc Fabregas? Arsenal, did you know Arsenal have won the FA Cup five times? Did you know Gunnosaurus was once fired out of a cannon? Did you know the Arsenal Stadium is called the Emirates? My favourite players are Kevin Tierney and Bayako Saka, the amazing Saka. Saka has never played for any other club apart from Arsenal. He was born in London and has Nigerian parents. Saka's parents support Arsenal just like him. The Fantastic Tierney. The Arsenal defender was born in Douglas, the largest town in, in an island called the Isle of Man. At just 20 years of age, Tierney became the captain of Celtic. His teammates sometimes call him Tesco's because he brought a Tesco bag to training with his football equipment. Yeah. He also started out as a forward. Well, I think football teams make people happy because that sport is very competitive and when your team scores a goal, you get very excited. Stadium. The capacity of the Emirates is 23,222. The stadium opened on the 22nd of July, 2006. Unusually, the manager at the time helped to design the stadium. Arsene Wenger buried a time capsule in the stadium, which Thierry Henry had the idea of doing. Very interesting. On the website, on a website, you can find a time cap. You can make your own time capsule. I do think the footballers have a role of being a role model. Well, I think this because some young players like Saka um, are very good at football and other people want to be like him. I think footballers can help people behave better because when they are very well behaved, other children can be well behaved like them. If you're listening to our holiday reports, these are from our independent studies. Hope, um, hope I, that you start making your products, projects soon. Thank you for listening and we, and we can't wait to see your, your, your project.